legends never fade. Once upon a time in ancient Macedonia, legends have a way of captivating our imaginations, transcending time and space, and etching themselves into the fabric of history. They endure, whispered through generations, their essence woven into the tapestry of cultures. Among these timeless tales lies the story of a child born in the heart of ancient Macedonia, in the cradle of antiquity, where myths mingled with reality, there existed a land steeped in grandeur and mystique. It was a realm where heroes walked among men, where gods cast their watchful gaze upon mortal affairs. Amidst this landscape of wonder and splendor, a child entered the world, heralding a destiny as profound as the legends of old. Little is known of the circumstances surrounding the birth of this enigmatic figure, some say he was born of humble origins, while others whisper of divine lineage, descended from the pantheon atop Mount Olympus itself. Regardless of the truth, his tale would become intertwined with the very essence of Macedonian lore. The early years of Alexander the Great, from Macedonian prince to king-in-waiting, in the sprawling kingdom of Macedonia, a future legend was born. This is the tale of Alexander the Great's formative years, from his upbringing as the son of a powerful king to his ascension as the heir to the throne of one of ancient Greece's most influential kingdoms. Act 1, Birth and Heritage. The year was 356 BCE, and in the Macedonian capital of Pella, Alexander entered the world as the son of King Philip II and Queen Olympias. Born into a world of political intrigue and military ambition, Alexander was destined to inherit the mantle of leadership from his illustrious father. As a member of the royal Argead dynasty, he was heir to a legacy of conquest and expansion that stretched back generations. Act Two: Early Education and Influence from a young age, Alexander was groomed for greatness. Under the guidance of his tutors, including the philosopher Aristotle, he received a comprehensive education in the arts, sciences, and warfare. But it was the tales of heroes and conquerors that captured his imagination, fueling his ambition to carve out a legacy of his own. Surrounded by the splendor of the Macedonian court, he absorbed the lessons of leadership and statecraft, preparing himself for the challenges that lay ahead. Act 3, Rise to Prominence. As Alexander matured, his father's ambitions for the future of Macedonia became increasingly clear. King Philip, a shrewd and ambitious ruler, sought to unite the fractious Greek city-states under Macedonian hegemony and expand his kingdom's influence into the heart of the Persian Empire. Recognizing his son's potential as a leader and commander, Philip entrusted Alexander with increasing responsibilities, grooming him for the day when he would inherit the throne. Act 4, The Battle of Cheronea. In 338 BCE, Alexander's medal was put to the test on the battlefield of Cheronea. Facing off against a coalition of Greek city-states led by Athens and Thebes, he distinguished himself as a brave and capable commander, leading the Macedonian cavalry to victory in a decisive engagement that secured his father's dominance over Greece. The battle marked a turning point in Alexander's life, confirming his status as the heir to the Macedonian throne and setting the stage for his future conquests. As Alexander approached adulthood, he stood on the threshold of greatness, poised to fulfill his destiny as the ruler of one of the most powerful kingdoms in the ancient world. From his early upbringing in the royal court, to his baptism by fire on the battlefield of Cheronea, his journey was marked by ambition, determination, and an unwavering commitment to his father's vision of Macedonian hegemony. Little did the world know that the young prince would one day become one of history's most celebrated conquerors, earning himself a place among the pantheon of ancient heroes. Subscribe and unlock the mysteries locked in time. Remember, secretum, no secret lasts forever.